Hi, we're here today to talk about two different loan types, FHA versus conventional loans. Hi, I'm Tim Carroll with Team TLC Mahara Associates. We're here today to talk about two different types of loans, conventional and FHA. And my guest here today to talk about that is Mr. Patrick Storch from The Mortgage Firm. All right. Thanks, Thanks Tim. Appreciate it. Yeah, there's a couple, there's several different kinds of mortgages out there. But today, I just want to touch base on two of them. One is a conventional loan and one is a FHA loan, a government loan. Okay, so a conventional loan, uh, there's some differences, especially with the loan amount. Okay, on a conventional loan, you can go a lot higher on a conventional loan. The max loan amount on a conventional loan is around $450,000, okay? So um, you can buy more of a house. If you have really good credit, you can put down as little as 3% down, okay? Right. There's something called mortgage insurance, which does nothing for you. It is strictly for the lender. Protects it the protects lender. protects the lender. So if you put down 20%, then you don't have to pay private mortgage insurance. If you put down less, you do. Now, the private mortgage insurance is, again, to protect the lender in case you default on the loan, okay? They have an insurance to cover that gap between your, let's say, 95% and that 80% mark, okay? Exactly. Now, the private mortgage insurance on a conventional loan will go away once you hit that 20% mark. So, if you have really good credit scores, you're buying a higher priced house, and um, you want to put down less money, conventional is the route to go, okay? Um, interest rates with good credit scores are really low right now on a conventional loan. In the twos. They're in the twos, that's right. Now, uh, an FHA loan, a government type loan, the max loan amount on those are around 350, okay? Give or take. Now, a little bit more lenient on the government type loans. You can put down as little as three and a half percent you can actually, your debt to income ratio, you can go higher on those. Um, it has private mortgage insurance as well. The problem with it is it doesn't go away. Ever. Okay. And that's not a great thing. Okay. But you're never going to, you're not going to keep this loan forever. No. Okay. You're going to refinance or sell at some point. So if we're credit scores a little bit lower, it's a lower loan amount not a lot of money in the bank, we're gonna recommend doing a FHA or government type loan to help you get into the house. And if you have good credit scores, you wanna buy more of a house, we're gonna recommend a conventional type mortgage. So uh, there's a lot more to it, Yeah. but that just kind of touches base a little bit on two different kinds of mortgages. There you go. If you enjoyed the video and liked it, just subscribe to our channel and ring the little bell below. And if you didn't know before, now you know more.